Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Things. Um, first, I want to thank everyone that participated or collaborated this weekend and the, this past weekend with the Julie Nutting Doll Stamp um, Challenge or collaboration that we had. Thank you, everyone. You ladies are super uber creative. I mean, I got so many ideas. My list is growing. I mean, really growing. So a lot of the ideas that were put out there, trust I will be using those ideas. I'll um, tell you when I do something that I actually either was inspired by or just wanted to copy exactly the way you uh, did it. Because, yeah, that's why I love this collaboration. Everyone has such great ideas. You can get so many ideas from so many different people, and it just helps to, um, yeah, collaborate or play along like this. Now, um, for those that want to participate, the only thing you'll have to do is if you want to join in with the fun, and I'm telling you, it's a lot of fun, just take the title of... Um, Take the title that we're using, the Julie Nutting Doll Stamp Collaboration, and you put the month in there, which the next cycle will be March 2017, and just attach your video, and hey, you're playing along with us. So yeah, I'd like to see everyone's idea, and you could play along with the other ladies and chat with them, and yeah, um, because you're a participant, it does not separate you from... Um, you know, mingling with the other people and meeting new people. And the only difference in the collaborators and the participants is the collaborators' names. The ones that already, um, back in December, I think it was, um, committed to doing 12 months. Those are the ones that you'll see their link in the description box down below yeah and everyone else will be participants and I think at this point Terry have decided not to put the participants in the links below because it's just too many and it changes too much yeah so um yeah play along with this have fun but I came to show you someone asked about the frame punch board that I used and they really wanted to know how I made the shakers these using that board and I made one here and it's made differently but you can use it with the board or not depending on how you want to do it so I'm going to show you first of all because I never did a video on this board um, I purchased this at HSN when it first came out so and I'm sure they still have more so um, yeah so I'm going to show you how to make these cute Cute, cute shakers and I have another idea another tip that will help in making these shakers so that they would actually sound a lot better it'll help move your shakers and your seed beads and little sequins and stuff around yeah so um not your shakers but yeah it is a shaker but it helps it move that confetti and seed beads and the sequins around yeah, so I'm going to show you, first of all, to use this right here. I'm going to show you with this piece of paper only because I already decided what I wanted to do. And this frame, this, um, this board has numbers here on either side of the board. And you actually place your little gadget here wherever whatever size you want your your um frame to be i want mine to be a quarter inch but i want it to be a portrait so i'm gonna and it's on both sides i'm gonna do the quarter inch first okay and as you can see it's on this side here and then you have the corner rounder if you put both of these or either one of these here it's going to do a quarter rounder I want it on the quarter mark because I'm going to punch this and this paper is I think it's cut at three and a half I mean three and a quarter by four and a half because and I'm going to put it there and punch turn it over I'm going to put it there and punch 
And then because I want this to look like a picture frame, I'm going to move this up to one. And I'm going to place it on this side, punch, then I'm going to turn it over, punch on that side, okay? So I have that, right? Okay, this right here, if you look underneath, you'll get these little tidbits here. And you can actually use those as photo corners. So don't throw them out. Just hold on to them. And yeah, you have something else that you can do with these. Okay, so now because I want to cut this out, finish it up, you have this here. And it also has the lines here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so that you can actually cut your frame out the size that you want it. I put it at a quarter inch and then it also has this little cutting gadget, a notch, and there's the needle. And I'm hoping they have refills for these and I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to slide this into, slide this into up against this bar and I'm going to put this in there. And I'm going to cut from across here. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to cut across here. I'm going to turn it around on the other side. And I'm going to cut it across here. Okay, I have to change the measurement of this because this is at one inch. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it at the one inch mark because I want it to look like a actual picture and I'm going to move this put that line that up to the mark to the um, bar I'm going to put this back in here and I'm going to score it across okay so when I finish I actually have the little mat that came out with this and you could use this for a little picture mat you can put a little mat on top of it, put a little picture there. You can use it so many different ways. So there's one, two, three things that I got from using this frame board. And if I didn't want the picture thing, I would have just done it at a quarter inch all the way around. Okay, so that is exactly how I made my frames. You can use any size paper that you want. You can do it at six inches, at eight inches. You would, whatever size. You could do a three by five card. You can do a four by six card. Any size you want, 12 by 12, but you would have to do it in increments. You would have to do one half of it, then the other half, then go back. Yeah, but this is what that tool does. Isn't that cute? I like it because it's simple, it's easy. Okay, now to make... A shaker out of this okay what I did was I cut loads of these at the same size now what you can do to make a shaker you could cut loads of them and you have quite a few options because I I mean you can do so much to make it have space in there well if you keep cutting these that's a lot of work so okay we're not going to discuss that or you can actually take the foam, and I use the 22.86, I think it's a 2 millimeter. I think that's what a lot is. And you just cut a quarter inch of the foam off. Let me show you. And if I took a quarter inch of this foam, and you just, you merely, I kind of, just um you know eyeballed it and you just slice cut it off and then you can actually take it and attach it to the back i'm gonna use this because it's sturdier you could attach it all the way around and you have a shaker but i'm not showing you that way but that's another option i am actually showing you the way i did it using craft paper Okay, what I did was I took my score board and I'm going to put it here. And I took my craft paper, which I'm actually, I use this a lot because it's in small enough pieces that I can handle. Or you can use just the regular 8.5 by 11 inch sheets. And I just, because I want this to be a quarter inch, 
I just take this and every quarter I score it. I just score this every quarter. Okay. Real simple, huh? Okay. And I do quite a few of them. I just have a lot of these laying around. You just sit there. You do them every quarter. Yeah, and you end up with a sheet like this. You end up with the sheet like this, okay? And it just has the score lines on it. If I wanted it to be another size, like one inch frame, you want a one inch a half an inch frame all around, you'll just score a half a half an inch. You'll keep your quarter inch because that would be the size of your shaker. And then you do another um, half an inch and you'll end up with something like this okay that's if you want a half inch square so you play with it and decide what you want I want a quarter inch all the way around so after I scored this paper I actually take my ruler and I'll cut every I'll cut it at every third line okay because you just have a bunch of these laying around because it's really convenient to have them so sometimes if I'm not doing anything I'll just make these little um, these little cuts and I would where I scored it I'll fold it mm -hmm. and I'm going to fold it here I'm going to you know where I scored I mean scored it I'm going to make sure my scores are done really well and then I'm going to take score tape and put it on both sides of this piece of paper that I scored. Okay, I'm going to take score tape and put it on either side of this. Alright you guys, so that's what I have right here. These are going to be the what I'm going to use to make my shaker. So there you are. And I end up with a bunch of these, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want to make this right I'm I, I want to make the frame so I'm going to take this frame first of all what I'll do is I'm going to use acetate I use the these right here I get them from I keep getting this wrong clear bags yes super cheap get 25 in a pack I think the pack is only a few dollars yeah I think it's yeah it's only a few dollars I think the deal with this is the shipping is a lot but I I've been dealing with them for years so I'm just used to certain products so I just continue to get um what I'm used to getting yeah and what I always use so what you want to do here is you have one or two choices you can either put your acetate down first or you can actually attach your this down and the reason I'm going to attach this down first is because I don't want it to be sticky I don't want if my sequence touch it I don't want it to interfere with my um with my sequence moving I have a tip for you later on so I'm taking this strip here and I'm lining it up now you might want to uh, do yours by measuring the little pieces first but the reason I use that four by six sheet of paper so I attach it there and then what I'm going to do I'm going to cut it off okay I cut that off and so far you have that okay then I'm going to take another piece of that little strip take it off okay I want I gotta make sure I stay in frame because sometimes I get thumbs down but I know it's because I'm not in frame or maybe they just don't like my videos <laughs> but anyway you guys you're going to take this piece right here. You take one of the sides off that you glue, I mean, um, adhere tape to. And you attach it just like that. 
okay so now what you have is you have the start of your shaker as you can see okay so I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to cut it off okay now I think this piece is big enough to go across here I'm going to tell you show you something after you do all four of your sides and you end up with this you also want to do if you're trying to do the photo you want to put this right underneath the bottom of the frame too on the inside well wait not yet not yet okay I'm sorry I went ahead of myself but after you put let's go ahead and do the rest of the sides because I want to show you it's at 15 minutes now so this is going to be a little longer video I can't do fast videos or you don't get all the details okay I'm going to go ahead line this up I'm gonna line that up too and the reason I want to put this on first as you can see sometimes that quarter inch tape still shows through okay so I'm gonna cut it across there and now I'm gonna take this piece and let's see if I could use it I'm gonna put it on the bottom and then I'll show you what I'll have to do for the other piece because if you don't you're you'll be wasting a lot of sequence or if you want to just do it that way okay so you end up with a piece just like that okay you have your shaker okay so if you're ha okay you can go ahead and if you want to use a piece of this right here I got ahead of myself like I said I get this from um, clear bags and if it's not clear bags you guys look for um what's the name of it paper mark yeah look at paper mark because I know it's those two that I've been <sighs> I've been um, ordering from them for years and some people don't like them because they say that the that the shipping is too much but um my deal is the reason I like them is because the paper quality is good it's almost like I think when I um, told people about the pizza boxes that's when they told me oh no the, the shipping is too much but the thing about it is is you get a bulk of you get a bulk of the pizza boxes or any other things and the pizza boxes are a lot better quality they're actually corrugated they're just not one ply paper they're corrugated boxes and it's for food products so yeah um, so it's not just craft paper so that's why I like ordering but I don't care what you order from them their their shipping is um, pretty high and it always has been I've been ordering from clear bags and paper mark for when I tell you years I mean years um, I think back in 2000 it probably was before 2009 I'm not certain but anyway because I order my chipboard from them because it's super easy it's lightweight and it's about this size and I get I used to get 500 sheets for something like $21 but they went down to 480 sheets but I only order my paper maybe two or three times a year I know I've gone as far as two years but if I don't give it away it'll last me a little longer right okay so anyway here I have this I'm going to take this piece of acetate and I'm, I did this first because I don't want my and I just place it in there and you have your the start of your shaker frame but here's the deal if I don't do anything else to this I have some space where you don't even see the shaker so what you might want to do is I'm going to show you what I do. I actually take the same little quarter inch um, or this little thing right here and I'll put it across the bottom of did I do this upside down? Yeah, we won't worry about that. I'll put it across the bottom part of this frame and I'll just cut it off here 
at the edge and I do that so that my shaker doesn't go all the way down and I'll take this strip off and this is how I actually I'll take this strip off and I'll start assembling my my little shaker box all right you guys okay so then I'll take this part off and I'm going to actually put a just a plain sheet behind this one because you can do it with another piece of acetate if you want to see through it um, and you just attach it there okay there's pretty much your shaker box alright okay so then I'm going to take the rest of this adhesive these little adhesive strips off of here and as you can see I have my little box there right and this doesn't have any shakers in it yet oh wait I'm gonna leave one of them open okay okay I'm gonna take this piece only because it, it, it was a piece I cut and I'm gonna put it on the back side I'm gonna try to line it up with one of the sides but you get what I mean I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it on here line it up and there you have your shaker okay now um, what I discovered <laughs> I'm reorganizing my room so I'm cleaning up uh, what I discovered was um, okay I, I actually did the wrong it is funny how when you're doing something, when you're putting stuff together, um, is when you, I'm going to show you what I did. When you're putting stuff together is when you actually do stuff that you don't want to do. Okay, when you, when you put this together, you have to make sure, as you can see, I'm undoing this here. You have to make sure you keep the right side open. Okay, so I'm going to actually open this end and close this end because I put that bar across there so if I put shaker in this side it's not going to come it, you're not going to see it on the video because the that little piece is down there okay so what I'm going to do and there you have your shaker pretty much you you can decorate the back of this card do whatever you need to do but there you have your shaker Okay, so I have my mix right here, and I have this little bit of um, these little pellets, and those pellets are poly pellets, and I did go on YouTube, Joann's have this exact same one, $9.99, and these are, you know, they're weighed stuffing beads, and you use them to make crafts. I use them to make dolls. Um, you can put them in blankets, but they give your project some weight. So, I just thought when I saw it, hmm, that's my sequin. This is my sequin mix right here. And it shakes. But then I take hmm, about this much of the pellets. And I'm dropping them all over. And I put them in there. And it shakes. But it sounds a lot better, doesn't it? And then I'll take that and I'll stick it in there. And it actually, this is a lot and I'm not keeping it in here. I just wanted to show you that it, it helps to move your sequence. It really helps a whole lot to move those sequence. So this is one that I made. And I put letter words in it because I wanted to see if it would move them around. Yes, yeah, so it actually moves my words around a lot. And here's another one that I made. Um, I did this one for my Julie Nutting project this weekend. And this is what everyone asked me about. But it does, it has, as you can see, it has those little beads in it. And it sounds so nice it shakes look it really sounds good so yeah that is my tip 
for you all. This that is the directions on how to use how to make these shaker cards and make them super easy. Here's one, and I didn't show you this one, and I don't have, and as you can see, some of my sequences even stuck. I do not have those little beads in there, and this is a card, you guys. I actually did it like this. I put the sequence on both sides, I mean, the, the, this acrylic stuff on both sides of it. So you can either back it with your doll, and you have a stand-up frame or you can just do them like this and you could use these in your stuff envelopes you could just send them as friends you could use them on your ATCs I mean so many great ideas and using these frames and making them exactly what you want remember you can make them any size that you want yeah so there is my projects you guys and your little tutorial if you have any questions leave them down in the comments and i hope you're able to understand exactly what i did how i did it if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i'll get back to you as soon as possible hope everyone had a great weekend talk to you later bye